Here we are before the next match guys, it's a night of the jackasses as I referred to earlier <laughs> Continuous, I mean earlier tonight What we had, a couple of ambushes First off started when Toxic Blonde was supposed to have a match with the Women's Tag Team Champions The Warriors of the Sky, Emma Moon and Io Shirai But the Demon Family members, the former Tag Champ, Candice LeRae and Nightmare Had other plans attacking the Champions, Rough Sword led to disqualification win for the Tag Champs also, we had another sword, another ambush from um, the Blade Runners on Zero and Andy work together as the cowardly unit as they are. And um, yeah, Andy and Zero communication issues. They they are not a unit. They're not a team. They're just you know enemy of the enemies. And yeah, it didn't work out at all so far for them. And um, yeah, not always is the old saying. Alone we are great, together we are unstoppable, not in that case, because they are a long way, but together they are shit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, also speaking about assaults and ambush in the backstage area, Santos Escobar, led, uh, the leader of the guard of the Phantasma, delivered a vicious ambush, perhaps the vicious of, all, of them all, on one of the tag team champions, Big Sash, who will face his boys if he can make it to take over uh, for the tiles, um, where his boys fight for the tiles, um, since they already defeated Big Sash and Sasha, so I don't know where there was a need for Escobar to ambush him in the backstage area, but he did it anyway with steel chair shots, he put, placed Big Sash on the table, he jumped from the stage to the table, to Big Sash and... Also had him with three wishes steel chair shots. Uh, not three vicious chair shots, he had him with three phantom drivers onto the chair. And you must need to know. Three phantom drivers head first on the sol on the steel chair with no protection that could cause injury or concussion. So we don't know yet if Big Sash is able to make it to take over, which isn't um, far away. This week Sunday we have Hell in the Cell from one Smackdown where we get to the results and next week so in Universe Mode Sunday of course, not in real uh, Sunday, is um, our pay -per -view, NXT pay TakeOver pay-per-view event. So we don't know. But what we do know however is that Wesley is one hell of a tough and incredible individual. I mean he and Massman were supposed to have a handicap uh, take on trio match against Dunn. Virgin Lorcan, but Wesley did it all by himself and got, got, it with the way, got away with the victory despite no need to tag in the, NX, the Masked Savior, who's our NXT United Kingdom Champion and we'll meet both Wesley and Pete Dunne in the Super Sweat Match at TakeOver event. Um, also, um, we saw Zia, the NXT UK Women Champion Zia Lee and St the legendary Stacey Keebler got some sort of revenge. Um, and feel good moment against their condom enemy in Sue Cox with um, the ref got distracted by Stacy's mu music as much as Sue Cox did and then from behind Stacy hit Sue Cox with Sasha space for bad um, and um, allowed Zaylee to got the win for their team uh, uh, for their uh, for herself you know and maybe for them as a as allies you know because the enemy of your enemy you know um, because Sue Cox messed with both of them and paid the price here tonight but will she pay the price to take over when she got her real match for Zaya Lee's UK Women Championship we don't know yet but also what we do know however is that Sasha unlikely sight of we never saw the sight seen the sight from him before as we saw against Escobar here tonight he make it clear simply clear that you don't mess with his brother and um, yeah, it wasn't much of a match with Escobar. It started as a match, but then Mendoza got on board, and Sasha even got Mendoza injected uh, from the ring. And he hit then Lease of Glory left and right into Jackie White, who didn't do anything. But uh, but Sasha didn't care. He did suicide dives on Escobar. He hit Lease of Glory left and right to Mendoza, to White, to Escobar, and then he snapped. He got his baseball bat from underneath the wing and keeps swinging and the ref was so shocked that he didn't even that he didn't disqualify Sasha at first but then he had no choice the ref had no choice he had no choice but to, to disqualify Sasha who who normally fights fair and doesn't use objects at all if it's not allowed so 
the ref was. She, I, I understand that the ref hesitate to disqualify them because it's an unlike it's a never seen side of Zasha before by one of, of the tag team champions. But he make it clear that he didn't care about that much about the match as he cares about his cares about his brother. I mean, usually he's alone who, who usually works alone, but Big Zasha sim clearly means very much to him. That's what we've seen earlier tonight. Also earlier tonight, we had another five star banger. The ba um, between Clark and Legend Killer and it was incredible. If you haven't seen it already, go and check it out now or you miss so much so such a entire this full match was a highlight wheel so you miss something very big something very very entertaining so if you haven't checked that out the match between clark and legend killer here tonight or the matches they had last week i i recommend you that you do the same about the matches that the brothers sasha and big Dash had in the past with legato de fantasmas jackie white raul mendoza also about the stk banger that um blue falcon had with fabian eichner um, the NXT North American Champion with Falcon Head with um, Fabian Eigner. And uh, speaking about the NXT North American Champion with Falcon, we saw him earlier tonight trying to help Clark uh, secure the win over Legend Killer, but it was almost a non factor because it was too early in the matchup. But the Falcons showed off that after last week, after the vicious attack by Legend Killer and Backstage area to Falcon, that Falcon is still able. Uh, is still in good condition and um, able to defend his title at TakeOver, I assume. I assume that. Um, and yeah, high energy. Try to get the second uh, um, capitalize on the on the uh, clock breaking legend kills on the feet this week last week shockingly last week and like I said already a very very great match. Also another five star bangers of the match uh, should be added. Le Speaking of legend killer, legend killers matches he had with both Clark and Zero. Also Andy's first match with Aswell is a five star banger as well as I if I rem I think I remember correctly. Um, and also we had another five star banger between Kylie Ray and Sue Cox. Uh, their last encounter was a five star banger, not the first ones they had, but the f last one they had, which um, um, was just a couple of weeks ago, was a very very good um, match as well. So those are the five star bangers we had so far. I hope I didn't miss any of it. And also, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. You will miss so many great matches, such a great storytelling. And um, like I say, banger matches, you know. You can't want any more than those matches that I just um, called off. If you haven't um, had to time to catch up on the matches, Brothers vs Legado de Fantasma, both of them. Both of those matches they had against each other, both tag matches they had against each other. Against each other. Then we had both matches Legend Killer shared with Zero in a one on one competition. We had also both matches that Le Legend Killer and Clark shared together, both of them. Um, in one on one competition, uh, but they just had one on one competition, so yeah. Uh, also the Steel Cage match between Blue Falcon and Fabian Eigner. Also, we had Andy's first match with Aswell, and to Cox match with Kaylee Ray, which just happened a couple of weeks ago. So those are the five star bangers we have so far. I hope I didn't forget any of it to mention. If you haven't checked them out, check them out now, or you miss something big. Also check out this match that we have right now between Dexter Loomis and some more Joe teaming up once again against the father and demonic father and Sandu between Death. Demon Senior, fo Diabolical, Demonic, Fiendish, Evil, former NXT Champion, when Samoa Joe make his in-ring return, who is the only person to defeat this, both of those demons in singles competition, um, despite the odds, and is our NXT Champion after getting the, the gold of the demon that NXT's take over 30, the, our last paper event we have, but because of this, those um, demons, we haven't seen Samoa Joe, um, because he got injured by what the father and son do did to him and um, yeah they had a c couple of rivalries also get Nightmare getting involved which infuriated her brother Desimon Jr. so much that he wanted to get revenge on some Mojo but instead of him getting revenge Loomis at the same night and attacked Jr. Uh, because of um, because of um, Jr. Uh, once hitting uh, earlier tonight hitting Loomis wife in the heart with a, where he lost it in a match with Nightmare had with Indy and uh, Loomis want to get revenge himself so they both had a feud with each other instead of uh, Junior having assisting his uh, father against Joe that much but uh, so it was um, 
inevitable that Loomis and Joe teaming up against the Father and Son duo because um, Samoa Joe stepped up against the Diabolical Champion who injured so many tough people like Tommaso Champ, like the former champion who took the title from Tommaso Ciampa like Ciampa's teammate Timothy Thatcher like our general manager Wim Wiegel also two upcoming stars with AK and Cameron Grimes and even Samoa Joe the tough man himself <laughs> missed almost an entire month because of that demonic SOB and um, now he was back as we found out last week where Samoa Joe helped Loomis again tried to help Loomis and um protect him from the demon as the demon wants to have none of it and he even had an argument with his son because of uh, I don't know what reasons but um, yeah things are boiling in the demonic family I mean earlier tonight last week it was Death Demon Senior um, perhaps ending the life of the legendary Papa Shango by attacking him back such area and tossing him from up high what he did to Simusy Satcher and um, we don't know if Satch's career is over by now. We don't know this. And um, also, I spoke about Indy Hardware earlier. Indy Hardware got injured by Desi Mancini's daughter, Nightmare, um, which infuriated Loomis, I, I assume. But he's a, even though he's a psychopath, he's, a, he's, um, he's not fighting ma wom women uh, because he, um, he might been a, he might been a cold-blooded psychopath, but he has boundaries. I assume, and I respect that, you know, that he didn't attack any woman so far. Unlike, unlike the Death Demon Senior, I suppose, if there wouldn't be any, uh, we wouldn't be in the PG or I think the demon wouldn't ca wouldn't care. I, I don't think that Death Demon Senior would care at all if there's a woman or not. He wants to inflict and pain on everybody, torture everyone physically and mentally as much as he can. That's what he's doing since his arrival here three months ago and capture by that capturing Goldie from Tommaso Ciampa. You know what the gold meant to Tommaso Ciampa? That's why he wanted to win it, I believe, and um, he did it by destro absolutely destroying Tommaso Ciampa and injuring him. And that's a tough accomplishment. We all know how tough our multi-time NXT champion this is a legend we have in NXT in Tommaso Ciampa and um, yeah same and a tough man in Timothy Thatcher upcoming stars with A-Kid and Cameron Grimes and our general our very tough general manager but old general manager Wim Weagle got also and to send to the in injury list as, uh, including Samoa Joe but Samoa Joe somehow were tougher than Death Demon Senior, everything Death Demon Senior have ever seen before, even though Senior got one pay-per-view on Samoa Joe, he lost the last one, uh, where he lost the title to him at NXT TakeOver 30, after winning at NXT World to Canada, and uh, very very painful and very uh, heated Hell in a Cell match, after weeks and weeks of them, of the Demon attacking Samoa Joe and Loomis and ambush and and demonic powers and wins for the demons and stuff and um, don't forget Samoa Joe broke the undefeated man undefeated streak of both of those demons he's the only one who ever defeated them and um, yeah but since his injury Loomis was left alone against the demons but he came out with a win over uh, them and Papa Shango after trying to get revenge on Shango after Chang Shango costing him two pay-per-view matches with Death Demon Jr. in the past but um, and then Loomis got the revenge in the handicap match by um, ma making Shango tapping out and um, after that this infuriated the demon and he attacked Papa Shango and they had an extreme woods there was an extreme woods tag match between Loomis and uh, Papa Shango because of our then new manager Sasha um, who um, wanted to make and ban everybody else from the demon family from ringside um, a, but the father and son duo Desimon Senior and Junior defeated the legendary Shango and Dexter Loomis in this matchup and yeah same about last week Senior walked away with the win over Loomis with his son getting involved and um, yeah then some old Joe made the save after the matchup um, he tried to but the damage might have been already been done on Loomis who knows as we will find out right now I believe because the Demon family is up next against our NXT champion who makes his in-wing return here tonight <laughs> I'm high for that and um, yeah and uh, the psychopaths Dexter Loomis so Demon family in action they missed all the gold that take over 30 they had they were women's tag team champions with um, Nightmare Candice and Desimo Team in there well, well NXT champion going into pay-per-view but both can be the case again at the next takeover event we have I think it's 31 but who knows there comes the psychopath Dexter Loomis 
Papoose, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. As here comes Dexter Loomis, a psychopath, but the psychopath can't even, can't even stop the demonic powers. He only stopped the brutal powers from Dexter Loomis in this handicap matchup, but he beat up everybody in this matchup from the Demon Family against all odds, so we can't underestimate this cycle. And he's very popular with the crowd for some reasons, I don't know why, but he's very popular. As maybe maybe also because of his weird relationship he has with his wife in the hardware. I mean, weird in front of that he's a psychopath normally and doesn't care about anyone, but he cares about Indy though. So maybe he isn't a psychopath at all. Maybe it's just called blooded or something, or I don't know. I mean, in my mind the psychopath doesn't have any feelings, but he clearly ha seems to have some sort of feelings for Indy hardware. So, I don't think he's a psychopath, but who knows, who knows, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Hopefully we'll find it out, hopefully we get more of Dex Loomis. I mean, we already seen so much, but hopefully Demon Family doesn't injure him, that's what they like to do. What, they, what does Demon Senior, the father, like to do? Satan himself, perhaps he is. As, uh, but as there comes the NXT Champion, first time we see him since almost an, enti since almost an entire month. Or well, maybe this in the time, man. I have lost counting. There comes the three-time NXT champion Samoa Joe. Wow, he ties that up with Tommaso Ciampa, I believe, and that's incredible. That's just so how great this man is and how tough it is we've been shown that take over 30 in hell on the sandwich where Cena did everything in his power to cripple this man to injure this man to end the career of this man but in the end it wasn't not just that Cena didn't accomplish any of that but also he lost his title to Samoa Joe and that's impressive and showed all of the toughness that Samoa Joe has if they didn't know already as they come to Demon Family As the ring announcer got scared that he didn't even finish in his introduction of the Demon Family and that, who can blame him? Who can blame him? And I completely can understand the ring announcer being scared and stopping the announcement. Maybe he, uh, maybe he won out of the building because of them. And you can blame them, but also uh, hopefully you don't run out of any of your building or <laughs> of your home because after this match we still have our incredible main event between the Demon Family uh, members' women's pass with... Uh, from the women's perspective of Nightman, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Nightman cancel away, taking on Raquel Gonzalez and the NXT Women's Champion Dakota Kai in the tag main event here tonight. We already saw Boys of the Sky with Toxic Blondes where the Demon Family and Nightman and uh, Candice um, attacked the Tag Team Champion, so uh, attacked Emma and Io. And causing the Toxic Blondes a matchup, you know. So, yeah, we will see them in the main event against Kota and Raquel. As Next up we have the main part of the Demon Family, the Monic main event. Yet again as there's Loomis and Senior starting off. And it seems like a Loomis destroying Senior that look like with or not destroying him but kind the better of him. As other well, tags were made to the NXT champion as Senior. And into some more Joe making a tag there. It is as Candice running into the ring. What what's Candice business there? I don't know, but Junior got the better of Samoa Joe, it looked like, for a couple of moments at least. And that's at least for him, I mean, as Senior attacking Loomis, as what a, what a pounce there from Junior on Joe, as, as that brought in Loomis, as Junior now laying awake on, on him as Samoa Joe. Now, uh, got involved, defending himself against that Steven Senior, to take the official, as Nightmare take the official. And also Loomis with a slow back, left in salt because he got attacked by all of them. As the Demon Family won this matchup by shenanigans. What the hell happened here? What? Who was that? Can someone explain what happened here? Anyways, I hate it, but yeah, maybe there will need to be the woman's uh, part of the Demon Family being ejected. Uh, I don't know what happened there, and I don't know how the official could see because he's laying down and out on the floor. But maybe we get some mysterious answer, but. Next up, we still have the main event so to come with Nightmare Candice against uh, from the Demon Family against Hakai Gonzalez and our NXT Women Champion the Kodakai. So 
tune in. Don't forget to tune into our main event.